Hello there, today we're going to give you an honest review of Racho Polisys. Now what this game is, is basically the standard city defender game. So they, you know, copied some other game that has the same stuff, but you know, that you're using rats instead. Uh, it has like six different characters to uh, unlock with male and female versions you can pick with different special abilities for their leaders and stuff like that. Uh, they have like, you know, three different maps you can pick from with, you know, different, you know, uh, facts you can do for you know making it harder at the end of the day if you want to keep replaying this game over and over again but this game is basically just 30 waves of guys attacking your rat city and you have to you know use your cards to get more troops and get more money and expand your city walls and all that kind of stuff and this is you know basically you start collecting gold you got your waves you got your population you get your money and you got all your cards and you, this is your deck you start off with the basic uh, small deck with well, a couple of cards each and then as you play you get rewards to get more cards and so on and so forth and cards like you know like houses get used up and stuff like that as buildings and all that kind of stuff but the thing is uh, the the downfall of this game is these cards they can get upgraded but just once like you, you can upgrade them to level two like why it's just stop at level two I don't know like you, most people stop at level three and that's kind of cheesy as it is uh, for you know replay value and stuff like that but these things stop at level two and then as you progress you unlock more and more cars it just gets more and more of a pain in the ass to read them all and stuff like that as you're playing and this ends up just being a fast a free for all like card smashing game basically because you can't go through here and actually uh, you know play this game properly with going slow you basically have to go there and redraw your cars as fast as possible and play everything as fast as possible or you're just going to end up you know losing the game basically uh, type of a thing and wait, wait for that wave comes you know it takes a, they give you a couple seconds to get used to but you can't read these cards uh, at the start of this game type of thing. You, you have to go there and read each little card like and hover over top of it and then when you do the redraw you have like you know just the five cards. It takes your time like you can't read stuff on the bottom of the screen there uh, for me at least and then you have if you want to actually see your cards you have to go to your deck and uh, you know pause the game that way but if you pause the game you can't can't touch your cards you can't move your cards you can't place your cards you can't click anything on the screen here you can't take a look at your guys and see your strategy the only thing you can really do is look at the cards in your deck and uh, that is about it and that's another that's another place where it drops the ball majorly because uh, at the end of the day this gets super hectic and all you're doing is smashing this redraw button and uh, playing your cards as fast as possible on your deck and it's just like you know why you want to play a fast, super high-paced action game when this game is just a simple waves coming in back and forth? It's like, you know, the faster you can move your mouse and get your cards out of the, out of the way is, you know, the only way you're actually going to end up beating this game because if you go slow and trying to read all these cards and uh, as you get there later on in the game when you get like 10 cards on a draw uh, and they all have different special abilities for like, you know, discard this card, buff this card type of a deal. Uh, this card is a temporary buff type of thing with their stupid word they used for it type of, type of a deal. Uh, it just gets too much and it's just uh, too little it's, it, they have too little of, of things in there and it gets too much it's well done for everything else so it's not you know a piece of crap it's like a 4 out of uh, 10 for me so you know 4 out of 10 it doesn't quite cut the 5 out of 10 average game that's okay decent to play I'm not going to come back and play this game uh, you know anytime soon basically I played it and I finished it uh, and they even have you know they roll the credits after you beat you know the 30 ways type of thing and that's about it you know play different maps for different things and you know play a hard Harder stuff and uh, more difficult, and uh, that is basically it. Um, I'd rather go and play some bullet hell and waste my time on that because at least you can upgrade your characters on that and uh, st stuff like that. But this is just you know, uh, super fast paced, moving your mouse moving your cards around it, it loses the, the appeal because of that uh, and that's you know something they shouldn't have done uh, I, I believe anyways but I just want to let you know what this game is all about if you thought this game was interesting but you know you got to know at the end of the day you're just going to be sitting there playing this game and you got to try and find out which of the cards do what and you just got to memorize them what, on what they do and just smash all these buttons as fast as possible or you're just going to end up losing the game type of a thing at the end you know at the end of the day so it's you know military strength, I got no guys, I gotta wait for all, I got all these things going, you know, for gaining money type of a deal. Let's get a card, you know, just let's pick a new card I guess, let's get this warrior guy here, a new, new guy, uh, and then we got waves coming on this side, so we'll put some military guys over there, and we'll just redraw. And then it's just back and forth, waiting for that stupid card to go. Last one, I don't know why you do that. That is just a pain in the butt.
But anyways, and then you know, come here, buy some more cards. So, you know, you can just pick what you want. Let me have a good buying expansion, buy a barracks to expand my guys. Um, medical tax, no. The shield guy, no, that's kind of weak. Save my money for other stuff, uh, and so on. Wait for my leader to get up there. But yeah, you just keep playing this game over and over again. And it's just going to be the same stuff. It, it lost, it lost a lot of interest to me at the end of the day when you're just doing all that button smashing. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you later.